Well, Meredith Grey has always saved people's lives in the most unconventional, amazing ways. And here DeLuca was kind of going out on a whim doing a similar thing. So she's like, God, well, I, I gotta trust you. I mean, I've done this my whole life. And I think that was really, you know, amazing for DeLuca and help, helped him. And then and obviously, you know, Richard was saved. So it was all for a good cause. Yay! When it comes to DeLuca and Meredith, I mean, fans are really rooting for them. So yes, they might be broken up, but people are really hoping that romantically they succeed. What's it like to be playing a character who fans support this union so wholeheartedly? I don't know if I would use the word wholeheartedly. It's very kind of you to say that. Um, I don't know. I think any kind of couple on the show has its polarity, has its, you know, people draw a line in the sand and say, you know, you're either with this couple or you're not. Um, and it's obviously so much back and forth. And, you know, that character, you know, has been on the show for since the beginning and had different kinds of relationships and, you know, Patrick Dempsey. And so there's there's a lot of like, you know, if you're a new actor on, on a show and you're, you're sort of becoming a love interest of a character who has had past loves, there's no way that the, that fandom is not gonna sort of put you beside those past lovers of that and compare you, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm happy that the that the fans have been uh, responding well to it. And I, I think I love the, the what the writers have done with, with our characters and had a good balance of sort of moments of great, intense, passionate love and also moments of, of distance and, and, you know, um, heightening and, and drawing attention to the fact that, you know, more than age, we're just at different places in our lives. And so there's gonna be moments where those just don't um, work, you know what I mean? Uh, Meredith's already sort of past problems in her life that DeLuca's just encountering. Um, so in one way it's great because she can kind of coach him through it, but in another way there's that lack of relatability of like, ah, I'm kind of ahead in my life than you are in this moment. I've, I've sort of surpassed these challenges in my life and you're just experiencing them for the first time. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm rooting for them too. Looking at your friendship with Ellen, you guys have been doing this show now, you've said seven seasons. What does that friendship mean to you? Because being on a show like this for so many seasons, like you you just hope that you all get along and, and build a friendship. This person who was number one on the call sheet and been on the show for, you know, over a decade, um, you know, clearly a seasoned professional and just was always just so kind and gracious with someone who was kind of newer to the business at the time. And she just, you know, put me at ease and, um, you know, she has Italian origins as well, so we kind of bonded over that. She loves hip hop, and so do I, and we bonded over that. And um, she's just been a great person over the years to kind of um, confide in and talk about things. There's been all kinds of different, you know, things that you know happen on the show and moves people make, and it's just always been a great person to kind of confide in and talk and just honest, you know, no, no agenda. And so um, I'm I'm very lucky to have her her friendship. New season of Grey's is kicking off. How does this one compare and what can we get excited about? And how does the pandemic play into it? And never in my seven years on the show have I been, you know, playing something that I'm currently living and experiencing. Uh, so there's no real detachment. It's not like we're pretending to have masks, pretending to be in a pandemic. We call cut and then we take our masks off. It's like, we call cut and no, we're, we still are in a pandemic. We're living the, the scenario that we're actually acting in. And so. It's very different. Uh, and I think beyond that, uh, we all just feel a tremendous responsibility to do honor to the stories of our amazing healthcare workers who have gone above and beyond uh, this time and to all the families that have been affected, lost loved ones or almost lost loved ones during this time. So um, we, we feel a tremendous amount of uh, privilege and honor and respect for this season that we really want to do it justice. and. You can really see, you know, how much everybody is going above and beyond to make this really, really, really special.